now that we're over the NTE hype and we've read all those like developer responses and everything like that. All right. The Toph players, the five Toph players that are that still give a shit about Toph, you guys might be concerned with the future of Toph. I've seen lots of people very concerned with Toph, thinking, oh, hot the studios will focus will shift their focus on the new game and the TOEFL EOS soon, blah, 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 blah. So Tower of Fantasy, the to Tower of Fantasy devs, which is the same devs, right? Perfect World did this probably, posted also their Q&A two minutes after the Neverness to Everness Q&A on CN Bili Bili. Obviously, this won't be translated because global publishing is done by Tencent, uh, but... We can all, I can do the translation here and we can talk about Tower of Fantasy and its future. Uh, right here, this says second half of the year, any big news? Will the, the Simulacra dorm system or Simulacra dorm system is fun, but not enough content. Who else is coming? And then another concern, family position, you know, family as in there's two games now from the devs. Will there be family hierarchy positioning changes? And there's like, nope, that won't happen. They're still equal, surely. And then how to reduce the feel that this playing the game is like going to work. And then they're, they're going to talk about all that stuff. So let's look at this picture. Okay, 2024, second half, Q&A, Tower of Fantasy. Okay, so there's Tata talking to Juvenile, probably Tata Studio dev. First question is about the dorm system. Everyone loves it, apparently. What's next for the dorm system? Okay, so here's the future for the dorm system. They are planning to every big version, so every 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. So we got this in 4.2, right? So 4.3, we're going to get something. 4.4, we're going to get something. Every big version, there will be new additions to the dorm system. Okay, they're dedicated to making this a permanent feature. So, so far in August, we'll have Meryl join the dorm room. And in September, we will have Roslyn also join the dorm system, right? And then every single simulacra will have different interactions. For example, Meryl will be able to sit behind the main character and hug them as they sit on a two-player water mount. Okay. And then at the same time, uh, previous Simulacra characters will also be slowly added to the dorm. And then if there's any feedback, let them know. Okay, that is Pog. For those of you that don't know, Tower of Fantasy is going full Coomer, just like Snowbreak. And I'm all for it. Okay, that is additional endgame content for an MMO, I guess. Fashion. Keep going. Next question. This is about male characters. About the So for all you male beggars, last time... Male Simulacra released was still last time. You promised one dude per year. It's going to happen, right? So, yes, it is going to happen. Tower Fantasy will have its own Zoro character. I mean, you guys, everyone knows this already. We're getting the triple flame sword dude, right? Some rich bro in September. Asurada. Uh, so yeah, new male character. But you know, for those male wanters in Tower of Fantasy, the devs did promise one male character per year, okay? If you don't like it, oh well. Go play NTE when that launches next year, okay? Uh, there's clearly going to be more males there, as that's going to be for more people. But, you know, the top demographic, the majority here, would like to have female characters, okay? That's, that's that. Next, what's going on with live streams? These mushroom people have been live streamed for a while now. Come back, please. So, apparently, they said they uh, ate some poison mushrooms are in the hospital. Still needs a couple more months to come back, but they'll be back for the three year anniversary live stream. Uh, so that will be in December. So I don't know. They said it, it says they'll be back before the three year anniversary live stream to start and do more live streams. So, like, I don't know if we'll get another live stream before the three year anniversary live stream in December or. The next time we're ever going to get a live stream is at the three year anniversary CN live stream in December. But, like, you know, we're already in July. Let's hope there's another one in between, but you know, it is what it is. After Guest House Network, where are we going next? And then they're responding with, there's no end to the authorizer's travel. Open up your mind, think about anything, for example, something, something armor, something, something battle type things, cough, cough, cough. They don't, the up higher ups won't let me say more. I haven't said anything. Act like you didn't hear anything. So like they're teasing some sort of armored battle. We already had that for the Eva collab. So maybe we're going to get more of that armored core gameplay. 
Gundam battles? No idea, but they're teasing this right now. Mecha battles, something like something along those lines. And then uh, right here, Tata is saying we already have, you know, fatigue looking at the design of Guest House Network. At the beginning, everyone was hyped. And then the, as the network expanded, everyone's like getting sick and tired of the current open world already. What else is going to happen or will we get anything else that will surprise us? In the future so they're teasing in september end of september they will add a indoor area right the whole place will be connected through the subway metro system plenty of different exits seems like a maze so stay tuned for that and then inside the inside there there will be also some sort of things that we have to deal with uh so stay tuned so like i think we're getting the the finally the, the metro the in-game metro system will get cooked finally at the end of september something like that and then finally here's the main question all of you are concerned about neverness to everness has been revealed we're concerned with the uh predecessor tower of fantasy and how will the family position be in Hata Studio. And then uh, they're confirming Toph as the first product of Hata Studio that made it all possible for NTE will continue on side by side competing in different segments in different genres of gaming, right? And Tower of Fantasy's 10 year plan will not change. The game will still be supported for 10 years like they originally promised, right? And they're going to continue working their best and to amaze everyone. Okay. So Toph is saved. Okay. Toph is saved. And then this is for the future of the Guest House Network and future content and the, for the story. So they're saying, since we met Meryl and everything else, we're going to dive deeper into the story. The first half, 4.0 to 4.3, is about the surface world. In version 4.4, we will open up the bottom half of the story, and we're going to go deep into the underworld of Guest House Network, and we'll slowly uncover more about what happened back in the day during the cataclysm and we'll finally unveil the truth about tower of fantasy so like lore nerds is going to get good stay tuned and finally for people that are uh as you can see eva collab people that care about the eva collab will they have a rerun the devs are confirming they're working with the ip holder actively and they can confirm that Asuka and Rey will come back to Planet Ida in the near future. Right, stay tuned for that one. Eva collab rerun will happen, but I don't know when they actually rerun. Are they going to get buffed? Or we all know there's power creep in this game. We're not hiding that. Will they still be relevant when they rerun? We'll see about that. And then this question is about in December will be three year anniversary. Will there be anything big happening? They have confirmed that there will be definitely something big. Brand new area is being planned. Brand new gameplay is being planned. All kinds of things. Better, more fun exploration collection everything all right most importantly the benefits or the free shit that we're gonna get for the three-year anniversary is never before seen in history and their jia dang chan is like their jia dang chan means they're gonna sell out everything that they they own in their house to make it happen type of level so they're sure to make new and old players very satisfied all right and they're again teasing some mecha armor battle thing in the new world and then finally last q a question tata is seeing that you guys are trying to reduce burden reduce load right R remember we talked about them deleting all the old content the chores that no one cares about so uh will you guys continue in that direction and then they said yes subsequently we are planning to remove stargate gameplay from the uh main server Okay, so Stargates are going to get deleted. That is great. And then they're going to reduce the Joltville Marketplace gameplay or simplify that, you know, that stock market thing and selling stuff. And then appointed research or the live server will also be adjusted. They're, they're still trying to reduce the load. Since like Tov has been going for three years, there's all kinds of random unga bunga content dailies that you need to do if you want to keep up. They're going to reduce everything and to make the, the game more enjoyable and not feel like a chore. And then finally, they're going to add Simulacra Assist exploration feature. All right, this is very interesting. Apparently, players can ask your Simulacras to go to old maps to collect gold nucleus, red nucleus, and other resources. So you don't have to go explore on your own. So 
holy shit. What the fuck? We no longer even need to explore. Okay, so we can focus on dorm feature and actually like, focus on the real M game content. Okay, that is, that is very interesting. And uh, that is it to the FAQ. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, we'll see how tough, what tough turns into in the future. That is it.